Sparta Premium Peels. Welcome to another edition of Bands, Bikes and Booze Reviews. I've got one here today from the, what are they called? They are the Stad Brauerie Spalt. And it's the Spalter Premium Pils. Now if Spalt sounds familiar, Spalt is one of the noble hops. And just like Halatau, which is a region in Bavaria where the hops are grown, Halatau of course is the biggest, they make a big thing, this brewery here make a big thing about the Spalt hops. That's where they're grown. And that is the, the town's biggest export is Spalt hops. Now Spalt hops, if you're, if you're wondering, they are an aroma hop, a German noble hop that is an aroma hop. And they use it in certain beers. Now it's not the most commonly used noble hop in Germany most commonly used hop is Hallertau. You've got various species of Hallertau hop, but Spalt is a hop that's used occasionally, but I don't think I've ever had a beer that has just got Spalter or Spalt hops in them. Now this brewery come from um, Franconia, which I don't know how it's happened, but I've just got a bundle of beer from Franconia lately that I've been trying. Most of it's been really good, but I have noticed on occasion there have been a couple that have like a, a sulfurous taste to them and it really isn't good. And I'm hoping that this isn't going to be one of them because I've decided to drink this today because I'm getting a little bit, I wouldn't say I'm getting fed up with Christmas beers and winter beers, but I just really fancied a lager today for some reason and this was on the list. And your name will go on the list. And I just really wanted to, wanted to try it. Now I've got this from the, the Imaginatively, tight, imaginatively titled shop in Hereford called the Hereford Beer House and this cost me uh, £3.40. I imagine in Germany that would be about one euro, something like that, maybe a little bit more. Honestly, if you look at the difference in beer culture, I know they're potentially the biggest beer drinkers per capita in the world. There may be some variations on that, but I think the Germans are. But they really do take the beer culture seriously and the selling of beer and how cheap it is, is just, it honestly would make you cry when you look at what you're, you're paying for over here and the crap that you get over here as well that costs a lot. Anyway, I'm not gonna turn this into a rent, but needless to say, the Germans take their beer very seriously. So, with that in mind, let's get this investigated. Right, first time I've ever heard of this beer and it just looked interesting on the website so I thought I'd give it a go. It's a 500ml bowl, it is 5%. As I say, it's from the Franconian region of Bavaria so naturally it conforms to the Reinheitsgebot. It's a Pils which is interesting because there are variations on pils or pilsners in Germany. The further east you go, the more reminiscent they are of Czech pilsners. The further north you go, in general I find, this is a rule of thumb, you find they're very dry, very spicy up in the north of Germany. And to the south of Germany in Bavaria, when you get a pilsner, it's slightly on the sweeter side, a little bit more reminiscent of a Helles than the other two, if you know what I mean. So with that in mind, and before this goes warm, let's get it in the glass. Sat there for a while, it's warmed up a little bit, not too much, only been about 10 minutes. There is 
the cap, spalter cap, and here is the beer. Let's get it in the glass. I was saying, never tried this before, and I must admit, I do really like the North German Pilsners, and I love the East German Pilsners. Certainly the Einsiedler Pilsner has one of the best ones, the, is it the Burmish from Einsiedler, that was really good. It was exceptionally good, very reminiscent of a Czech Pilsner, a really good Czech Pilsner as well. Yeah, this is what I'd expect from a Pilsner. Lots of, sp lots of hop aroma, earthiness, herbal flavours as well. It's the first time smelling them herbal notes from the Spalt hops and they are an aroma hop which that's why they put them in there for it's not like the the middle through or the Hallertau Hallertau middle through god that really does smell herbal and nice there is some sweet honey notes in there as well and some lemon citrus too but it's all about the spicy notes spicy bitterness notes Mm, interesting. Very, very slight sulfurous smell. I don't know what it is, it must be the water in Franconia. But I didn't get that from the Mernshoff stuff. It's really weird, I don't know what it is. Anyway, let's get it down the hatch and pray that it doesn't taste of sulfur. Zum Wohl, as they say in Germany. Oh, that's really nice. That is a good one. And there's the bitterness on the finish. Now, that is a typical Bavarian Pils. It's, it's slightly sweeter. Well, it is sweeter than the North German Pils. There's still a little bit of bitterness on the finish, but you do get quite a lot of that nice honey and malt, Pilsner malt flavor in there on the palate. The finish is quite, quite bitter and spicy and quite dry but there's a lemon citrus that runs all the way through that too mm. yeah that is really good that is a winner all year round and it is just what I needed tonight uh, the busy day today stressful day I went to um, I actually went to Morrison's today and I picked up a bottle of Old Peculiar. They always have Old, old Peculiar there, but there was one bottle left on its own. And I thought, do you know what? I'm going to have that and I'm going to review it again. I've already reviewed it once on the channel. That was about a year ago. I'm going to do it again because this is the perfect time to be drinking Old Peculiar. So I watched this space for Old Peculiar. Oh, that is so good. So drinkable as well. Very similar to your average German Helles, uh, these Bavarian Pilsners. They haven't got the bitter intensity on the finish that the North Germans have. And with the, the East German Pilsners, certainly the, the ones near the Czech border, you haven't got the all round balance of sweetness and bitterness all the way through. This is this is like a a sweet and I wouldn't say a, it sounds when I say sweet and down it means like you know you're probably getting ideas the sugar in it and stuff like that it's not but it really does taste nice so much so that I need to take my glasses off and try it without my glasses on because that can make a difference there's science well there isn't science there's no science at all but it's a fact <laughs> it's not really calm down Mm. Oh, oh, it's that's so drinkable. And do you know what? It's so refreshing to have a beer. These last few beers from Germany that I've tried, as I say, I keep going on about this sulfurous flavour, but it's so refreshing not to get that on here. I really was dreading it. I don't know what was going on, but it just seemed that the last three or four beers that I tried just had this horrible 
sulfurous bitterness to it that really wasn't good. There was a little sort of hint of it on the aroma. There's nothing like that on the on the flavour. And before, the ironic thing was on before, on the other beers, you'll see the reviews of them, there was no hint of the sulphur on the aroma. And, you know, once you take a mouthful, it's just like, oh, it, it really isn't a nice flavour. But this, this is good. This is lovely. Mm. That's really good. And I have to say, I think that's the first beer that I've tried with solely spalt hops in. And if, th if that's it, then they're really nice. Nice herbal notes on there, touch of lemon citrus. There's quite sweet honey on this as well, which I think comes from the yeast. A mixture of the yeast and the pills and the malt together. And all together, you know, you've got that good balance of sweetness and bitterness on the finish that just makes this so drinkable. It really is. I'm having to stop here because I just want to keep necking this and I shouldn't really. Yeah, that is a winner. So what's the verdict on Spalter Premium Pils? Really good. First one I've had from this brewery, the Stadt Brewery Spalt, and it's a really good one. It's the first beer I've had that solely contains Spalt hops that I know of. And you, can you taste the difference? In all honesty, no, I don't think you can. But regardless of that, this beer has got some really nice flavors to it. But it's what I like about it is it's a typical Bavarian Pilsner. There is some sweetness on it, but then you do get a slight bitter finish to it as well. And that, I have to say, is an absolute winner. For me, that's a 10 out of 10. I could drink that all day long. That would just go down so well. And it's warmed up ever so slightly because this is, you know, this is a, a cold night and I've got the, the radiator on down here. So the room is quite warm and it's obviously warming up all the time. It's in, you know, in the atmosphere. But it's, if anything, that's just bringing out them flavors. Maybe it's not, it wouldn't be as refreshing if it was, you know, this warm. But I'll tell you something, I don't care. That is going down very nicely indeed. And for me, that is a 10 out of 10. That is recommended. If you can find it, I imagine that's hard to get hold of over here. I got it from that Hereford Beer House. Worth checking them out. They do some quite rare beers. Not the cheapest, but worth it if you like good beer. So yeah, I'd recommend that. And remember, beer is working class champagne.